So I've just fitted one of these e-bike controllers to my, my bike and it worked very well, it does everything it should do. However, um, what I kind of didn't bank on is this being a 48 volt uh, module, uh, I've got it on a 36 volt battery um, and when I did the maths, um, this this is cutting out early, so this cuts out at 36 volts and I've experienced that and of course the e-bike battery being 10 cells um, should drop down to about uh, 30 volts, maybe a bit under before it cuts out, so this is cutting out early for the battery pack it's on. Uh, the point of this this little instructable uh, video is what I'm going to do is see if I can alter maybe the feedback resistors in here if I can find them so as I change it from should we say a 36 volt cutout to maybe 30 or even 28 so as I then have a cutout on the battery management rather than via the controller um, and that's what I'm doing today and the first task is to open up the uh, the case and see if I can locate any feedback resistors. Um, on a couple of controllers there's been solder drumpers on there, four different battery packs. I'm hoping there's one there um, that I can simply bridge. If not I'll have to hunt down which um, which part of the circuitry decides that it's um, the lowest battery voltage. So I've taken the, the main circuit board out of the case, there's a million screws, um, and as kind of half predicted, uh, maybe a bit of prior experience with other controllers, but when I've taken the circuit board apart, um, there is right in the middle four drumpers for 60, 64, 72 and 80 volts, which helps me because I know the components in this area are all associated with the voltage feedback for the battery cutoff voltage. Uh, you see it's bridged on 60 even though it's a 48 volt battery whether that's peak voltage um, I'll have to double check uh, but it's the lower voltage that I'm interested in um, and what I've done is reverse engineered I can align that I reverse engineered the um, the circuit and these are the four places for the jumper to give us 60, 64, 72 and 80. Across that to ground is a 2k resistor. Then up to battery voltage via a diode is 24k and then there's 2k2 or 2.2k to protect the microprocessor which um, uh, measures the voltage and then there's a, th a threshold um, because I know what voltage it was cutting off at I've simulated that by using my bench power supply to put in the 36 and a half volts here and then I've measured the voltage at this point and I got 2.25 so I know that that's the voltage with which the microprocessor uses to switch off um, it's all very long-winded but um, this is essentially a potential divider. We've got R1 and R2 uh, and, and the output, which um, is basically this, which is, you've got two resistors and, and the output, which is what the voltage feedback is. It's the resistor one these combined make resistor 2 and then you choose the actual span by bridging one of these to bring in an outer circuit uh, a resistor. I've fed these numbers into a spreadsheet um, and found out that if I if I change this resistor to 3k and I add in the 60 volt one a resistor here instead of drumping it and I use that resistor as 2k then this will have a trigger voltage of about 26 volts or 2.6 volts per 
cell in my 10 cell 36 volt battery or 42 fully charged um, which is what I'm uh, going to do um, I, I, because I reverse engineered it I know where these resistors are I wait for it to focus so instead of a blob here I will have a 2k resistor and then this resistor here I think it is yeah, I'm going to float that off with the soldering iron and solder a a 3k resistor in there and that will give me uh, a much lower cutoff for the lower voltage battery so I've soldered the two resistors I just mentioned into place um, so I've replaced the 2k resistor with a 3k and instead of a so solid solder bridge I now have a, a 2k resistor um, and in order to check because um, I haven't got a variable power supply I can bring down to uh, where I work on the bike um, I've had to work it out a different way so what I've done is on my spreadsheet is put in the battery voltage of 4.14 at the moment kind of fully charged um, which would be this point on the circuit and then I've measured this point here to see if it fits in with what the spreadsheet would estimate would, would be here. So for um, a battery of 4.14 volts, um, it reckons I should get 3.59 3 here. And then when I actually measured it, I had 3.98, uh, which I think is pretty good. Um, which means that um, the circuit is altered and working as intended and the battery voltage will have to drop down to about 26 or 27 volts in order for this point here to drop down to 2.25 volts. Um, uh, again, I'm going to test it for real uh, in real life by reassembling it all and going out for a, a good blast. Um, I shall go further than the trip where it initially cut short on me triggering all this investigation uh, I'll probably be doing double that distance just to prove to myself but um, yeah that's how um, I would go about altering the minimum voltage cutoff on a e-bike uh, controller um, similarly if you did it and to raise the voltage uh, and your controller didn't have these options then that would be a similar method of doing it Well, I've been out to test it after the low voltage um, cutoff modification, and it's been just fine. I've done probably somewhere between between fifteen and twenty miles. I finished on a bit of a hill because I live on the top of a hill, so uh, that's about as hot as I've ever seen the motor. Thirty three, thirty four degrees. Um, the controller's barely warm. The battery's a little bit, a little bit warmer. Um, and you can see the the cable down to the motor is is just a bit warm as well, but nothing to nothing to worry about. Um, I think it's a very successful uh, modification. <laughs>